What's up everyone? It's Lens Addict here. Today we're going to be doing a camera comparison of the Pixel 5 versus the S21 Ultra. So let's get started. Pretty funny shot there, but this is how I'm going to be filming the camera comparison. I'm going to hold the two phones side by side and this next shot is going to be wide angle testing. So this is how we're going to do it. <laughs> When it comes to optical zoom, the Pixel 5 unfortunately loses out quite badly. The 10x optical zoom on the S21 Ultra completely demolishes most phones, if not all of them, when it comes to zoom. As you can see here, it's pretty incredible what you can pull off with just a phone. Unfortunately though, switching between the lenses isn't very seamless compared to, say, an iPhone. As you can see here, the Pixel 5 is more seamless at switching between lenses, but the zoom quality is no match for the S21 Ultra. For the fun of it, I thought I would take a photo on my DSLR with a 70 to 300 millimeter lens to compare the quality between the S21 Ultra and the DSLR. It's pretty impressive that a phone camera can get close to a DSLR that weighs one and a half kilos and is massive, but yes, the DSLR does win. Here we can see very different processing with the S21 being more saturated and the Pixel 5 being less saturated. Here's a slow motion camera comparison. What I'm noticing with the S21 Ultra here is that it's over sharpening quite a bit and it also seems to be dropping frames which really ruins any kind of slow motion video you're getting with the phone. Hopefully they fix this with a software update. This is running while wow, using the selfie cam. Let's see how the stabilization goes. <laughs> I feel like it won't do that good of a job, but it's worth a shot. This is running while using the selfie cam on the Pixel phone. It doesn't look as stable. <laughs> This shows both cameras at 2x zoom on the UI, which means that they're both using their wide angle sensor and not using any zoom lenses because the S21 Ultra's zoom lens starts at 3x and 10x, so it's a good comparison. 
What I find is that the S21 Ultra seems to like to up the saturation a bit, especially in some of the sky scenes where the colors look just, well, as you can see right here, the colors look plain cartoonish. They did not look that blue in real life. <laughs> but overall, they're actually reasonably similar, but you can be the judge here. Where things get really interesting though is in the night time or around sunset. Here you can see that the Pixel 5 delivers much more realistic colours of what I saw at the time, whereas the S21 Ultra saturates the crap out of it and makes it really blue, almost unnaturally blue. Even stranger was the fact that as it got darker, the S21 Ultra got even more blue which just doesn't make any sense. This effect is even worse with photos of people because it makes their skin look really blue. When it comes to low light video though, I'm not sure I have as clear of a preference. Yes, the S21 Ultra is super saturated, but I find the Pixel 5 video isn't that appealing as well. This concludes the camera comparison. I'm going to now put in some of my favourite photos that I've gotten on the S21 Ultra across the time that I've been testing it.